All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me. Yo, yo. We're back with another episode, man. Make some noise. We're at episode 47. we getting up Damn. there. Damn. Yeah, bro. That's crazy. Time's flying, bro. 47. Time's fucking flying, for real. But yeah, guys, we appreciate all of you guys, part of the Dope Talk family, that liking, sharing, subscribing, hitting that notification bell, and just staying in tune with us, for real, man. We appreciate that from the bottom of our heart. Not for real. But, um... But yeah, man, how you feeling, bro? Chilling, chilling. You chilling, know what bro. I mean? We got some beers. Got some forward. brews, you know what I mean? Nothing wrong with that. Facts, you just cooling, bro. Yeah, beautiful day. Yeah, bro, it was a you good day. Yeah. It definitely was a good day. Seriously. But, um, but yeah, man, going straight into it, bro. Talking about good days, you know? Remember when I was a kid, you know, I'm sure you could relate. We were kids. We used to have a lot of good days and yeah. shit. And um, we used to dream big, bro. Dream really fucking big. Hell yeah. When you're a kid, like... <laughs> I used to fucking dream. You dream big, bro. Yeah. And it's like, I wanted to just touch base on that, bro. And Because I'm sure everybody out there could relate. And if you can't, you know what I'm saying? Drop it in the comments, too. But yeah. um, But yeah, like, bro, most kids' dreams are so fucking big, bro. And it's mm -hmm. like, it's so hard for you as a parent or as an uncle or aunt or whatever to yeah. be like, yo, like... <laughs> That's so far from fucking reality. Yeah. In most cases, it's yeah. like you don't want to break their heart, but you don't. It's, it's like, true, bro. It's like, like, oh, mommy, I want to be a, a fucking. I don't know. It's like, I want to be an astronaut. Yeah. And it's like, she's looking at you like, buddy, like you're having a hard time putting the circle in the fucking circle and the square in the square. <laughs> and you're talking about you want to be a fucking astronaut. Nah, that's fucked up. <laughs> It's true though, no, you know what I'm saying? True, it's yeah. like, yo, bro, like, you yeah, might not. Because yeah. you don't call your kid dumb, you know what I mean? Nobody ever wants to. <laughs> <laughs> Until you're older. Yeah, you know but, I mean? nah, fact. Yeah. Nah, I feel like Hispanic parents have no problem doing that shit. I'll let you know real quick. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Damn. Sip time. <laughs> Yo, yo. Same time, get yo, with it, guys. Yo, get with get it. Get fucking with it. Yo, that's but now, nah, yeah, bro, like, and in most cases, kids, like, they want to they wanna be rich, man. I don't care what you say. Like, what, regardless of what they say, most kids, they're like, once they understand, the, like, what money is, yeah. like, or just the beginning of what money is, like, they just want that. They want to be rich. They're like, oh, I want this. Yeah. But, but yeah, man, that, that goes true. right into the next fucking topic, which is, like, how money is an illusion, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, That's true. Real talk. Like, I remember we were talking about it the other day, and I, you know, I started breaking down how, like, there's, you know, all these rich guys out here, they have millions, billions, trillions. It's like, nigga, go try to take a billion dollars out of the bank cash. Nah, <laughs> I don't care how much money you have in the bank that it said you have in your account. Yeah. Nigga, they're going to look at you like, you really think we have a billion dollars cash here? No, we don't. Like, get the fuck out of here. Enough, bro. We got 10000 bro. <laughs> Facts, we got, we got 10, enough 000. for the fucking ATM and for the lady to give a couple people a nah, couple hundred bucks. Yeah, because most people carry cards. Yeah, bro. It, it, nah, like, money's an illusion, bro. It really is, bro. Yeah. It's all about, like, just, like, credit is the most important thing. Yeah. Credit, having assets and shit like that. Equity, building equity. You, you focus on that shit, bro, you're most likely going to be rich. Yeah. Because very. that's really all it's about. Like, yep. it's not, like... That's another thing, bro. Like, you could go to school and and get a really good job, be a doctor or some shit, and still, like, not know what you're doing. Yeah. And still fuck yourself up. Very true. Because you're not financially literate. Like, you got to yeah. know what you're... You got to study that. Yeah. And most people don't, bro. School never teaches that shit, bro. Like, they'll be in debt still. Like, yeah. being a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> because it's about money management, knowing yeah. how to put your money work for you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to know how to, how to make your money work for you. If you don't know how to do that, bro, it's... Huh? Shit. Yeah. And it school's is. expensive. Hell yeah. Yeah, for that. School is like <clears throat> school is like a fucking half a half of a house. Like yeah. one semester for school is like half of a fucking house pretty much. Yeah. That's if crazy. not a whole house in some places. Yeah. It's like come on, bro. Like it, it, it's a hundred thousand dollars a semester at like Yale or some shit, and it's like, what the fuck, yeah. bitch? I'd rather go put a hundred thousand dollars into a home. <laughs> why, did you know I, what I'm why did I pay my fucking lunatic of a fucking professor? He didn't teach me a goddamn thing. Facts. All he did was cancel classes and email me. Yeah. And tell me here's the fucking paperwork. Do Turn cocaine. it in Friday. <laughs> <laughs> fucking lit <laughs> shit on Fridays. Facts, nigga was wired and shit. Nah, for real. Crazy, man. I remember when I went to college. I swear to God. I only did one semester. Facts. I swear. Well, I didn't even do that, but. Yeah, I did that shit. 
<laughs> and, I did that shit. And bro, like by the end of the fucking like semester, he was one of those teachers that kind of like he was a he was trying to become a teacher. <laughs> so he needed all he he needed all his students to pass. Right. Pretty much the whole class was like, man, this guy sucks, man. You right. know what I mean? Like everybody failed the first. Like it was like a practice <laughs> test, and they, he noticed that yo, he's not gonna look good after this. You know, no one's gonna pass this class. <coughs> so uh, he said, hey man, you give me thirty bucks. Get the fuck out yeah. of here. Oh, my yep. God. I'll never forget it. And I, you know why I'm pissed? <laughs> it's because I left that class before that test, before he did that. I failed it, and I knew I was going to fail. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this. And then no, go. Bro. And then my school, like, my fucking, you know, my, my peers, whatever. You know what I mean? They were just like, yo, like, why'd you do that? Like, <laughs> 30 bucks, you would have passed. Yeah, that's what he told me. I was like, bullshit. He's like, nah, for real. I'll never forget it. <laughs> Yeah, that shit it. is fucking great, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, nah. Bullshit. You know what's crazy, bro, is that we all have, you know, friends that we know or somebody that you, you care about that could have been rich and ended up not being so. And yeah. In both of our cases, it's both of us. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty, <laughs> sure, I'm pretty sure it happens to a lot of yeah, us. Yeah, it happens to a lot of people. Yeah. Where you just, you're young and you miss the opportunity, bro, because you're thinking that they'll come a dime by a dozen, and it, and it doesn't. Like yeah. opportunities don't come knock every day. Yeah, and you learn that the older you get. Yeah, for real. So bro. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of opportunities. Like I remember I was in like a little sniping clan. You know what I mean? And I missed the opportunity because I thought it was a game. You know? What yeah, I mean? it's just video games. It's just video games. Your parents games. told you, you you can't make no career off that. Exactly, and they would always tell me that and put me that in my heads. You know? So yo guys, if you have a fucking dream. And your parents don't fucking believe it. Fuck them. Facts. Tell them to fuck off. Well, Seriously? no, we don't condone that. Don't curse at don't your parents. Don't say that. Yeah. Be respectful. But tell them, listen, Yo. you know, I got to try this for myself. This is what I feel like I, I want to do. Yeah. And try it. Yeah. That's all you can do is try it, bro. And keep going. Yeah. Try it. Stay consistent. Do your research on it. Know what you're really getting into. You know what I mean? And yeah, just put your all into it. Seriously. But it's true, bro. Like, you have that story, bro. I have the story where, like, I'm not going to act like I was the best fucking basketball player or anything, but I could have went to college for free for short, and I could have probably made it into the league for short yeah. if I, if I would have, like, been serious about it. No, most definitely. You know, yeah. I, I was fucking 6'6 six, six by my fucking junior year, and yeah. I was, like, decent, bro. Yeah, you know I remember. What I'm like, yeah, I remember. Bro. I was decent. I, I You know, I was I was Coach quick. tried to tell you. Yeah, Coach Stevenson. Shout out Coach Stevenson, man, at yeah. Pine Ridge, bro. Yeah, I, that was out. my dog, bro. But he used to tell me all the time. He's like, bro, like, I don't know what you're doing, but. Yeah, seriously, you could have had a full ride. I could have had a full ride, gone to college for free, fucking, you know. Yeah. And had had a shot, at least had a shot of being looked at for the NBA. Yeah, exactly. But you you know, you pick your, you, you know, you, you pick your route in life, and sometimes it ain't the best one, you know. It ain't the best and one. And you make mistakes, bro. But we learn from that shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. if you guys have a similar story out there where y'all could have been, you know, made a lot of money or, you rich. know, whatever it is, been rich. And it just didn't go through because of the decisions you made. Yeah, because it's all <laughs> like, based on you. Yeah, like let us know. Let us know in the comments and shit. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, since you're so tall, man, you know, that was kind of <laughs> one of the issues that... <laughs> I didn't know how to get into it, but <laughs> this motherfucker's tall as shit, guys. Yo, guys, for those of you that don't know me personally, I'm 6'6", six, six, man, 6'5". Yeah. I don't know. I haven't, like, measured myself in a while, but I'm up there. And, yeah, bro, there's yeah. a lot of things that pisses off as tall guys. Yeah. Like, please, guys, please find a different conversation starter than how fucking tall are you. <laughs> Like Jesus fucking Christ, is that the only goddamn thing God that you can fucking damn. say to me? Like, nah, for real. Like, that's the first thing you say. Like, how about you mention my tattoo? Facts. Like, ask me what the fuck that's about. You like about my it. beard? Like, yeah, like damn. say I got nice shoes or something. Like, everything don't something. always gotta be about my fucking size, bro. It's nah, like, holy for real. fuck, that shit gets annoying. It's like I, I kind of get women when it's like a guy only notices their ass or something. It's like, bro, they're like, for real? Yeah. Like that's it. That's like you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it'd be like that sometimes. That's crazy. That's true. Well, maybe because that's the only But yeah, bro. <laughs> that's one problem. Another problem, dog, I be getting mad about is you can never find shit in your size. You go to the mall, yo, you got these shits of 14? No, nah, bro, but we could order them. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I don't want to order shit. I came to the mall so I could leave with them today. I, yeah. got, I got somewhere to be tonight. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I ain't trying to shit. fucking order this shit and wait a week. Fucking like, custom, fuck man, like custom, like, height for, like, you know, cars, right? Yeah, bro. Like, yeah. there's certain cars I'm very uncomfortable in. Um, It's just a lot, bro, honestly. Like, being a taller, a taller person... I'm not gonna say just a taller guy because there's tall girls out there too. Yeah. Um, being a taller person, bro, you you face different fucking challenges. Just like being short, you know what I'm saying? Everybody has their own challenges they gotta face, and us tall people have our challenges we gotta face. Mm -hmm. Like, that's true. You know what I'm saying? Very, very true. Yeah. I don't really deal with shit. I'm a normal person. That's <laughs> <laughs> what you're trying to say. I ain't uh, normal. Nah, nah, nah. You a fucking alien, bitch? No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, bro. Uh, nah, but on Space Jam and shit. Nah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here. God damn. Well, guys, well, I'm Mr. 305, so it's all right. We, nah, I'm in facts. the building. Nah, for real. My head shiny as a fuck. My dog got shiny yep. head because he got a lot of good thoughts. Yep. And that's our next fucking topic, man. <laughs> we fucking need positive vibes. Yo, yo fuck <laughs> this guy. <laughs> yo, Damn, I'm looking at my head and... Nah, that shit look like you done buff that bitch, Nah, bro. I did. Holy coconut fuck. oil. Yo, guys. Holy shit. Secret? Coconut oil. I nah, coconut you. oil would be the shit for Yeah, me. yeah, it's good for your skin. It is. Yeah. But, nah, real talk, like, positive vibes, man, and, and, and having positivity, especially at the beginning of the day, is so important. You know, waking up, not going straight to social media, not going straight to news outlets. Just wake up, you know what I mean? Have yourself a little routine. And just be with yourself for a couple minutes. Yeah. You know? Do breathing exercises. Breathe in and out for five minutes. And just, you know, get your day started a different way. Have positive vibes. Talk to yourself in a positive way. Look yeah. at yourself and be like, hey, today's going to be a good day. Yeah. And if it ends up not being a good day, we'll handle it. We'll, we'll handle, handle it right. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. We won't freak Accordingly. out. Yeah, like, you gotta, you really have to talk to yourself. You bro. do. Like, write shit down. Like, like, nobody's going to check you better than you. At the end of the day, like, people... People go look for other people's, like, opinions and shit. It's like, bro, you know where you're lacking at. And you know where you need to tighten up at. Like, most people do. You don't... Like, I feel like most people don't need somebody else to tell them, like, yo, you need to do this, you need to do that. Maybe for motivation. But yeah. you knew you needed to do that before that person told you that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the best, the best advice that I ever... I was ever told... That was by you, by the way. Uh, don't give somebody advice unless they ask for it. That's a fact. And that's that's probably one of the, like, that shit hit me. Nah, for real, because it's like, true. It's yeah. like, you're wasting your time, bro. Yeah, you really are. If they didn't ask for it, they don't give a fuck about it. Yeah, they don't. That's so you, you're you sitting here with a good heart and good intentions trying to help somebody. Like, yo, bro, like, you're trying to give them advice on how to do something to better themselves. And they're going to discard it because they're not looking for it. If yep. they come to you looking for it, that's a different story. Yeah. But besides that, bro, let them do what they do and let them figure it out. Yeah, you know what I mean? that's very true. Um, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of wild to me, man. Because like you try to give the best advice, and you think it's the best. You really yeah. do. You really do. But you know, sometimes I mean, just... sometimes it is. Sometimes yeah. it's not. Yeah. Because you might be looking at it from a from a uh, biased standpoint. Another perspective. Yeah, yeah, you're looking at it from a different set of shoes. Like everybody has their own life. Everybody has their own set of problems, and they deal with it the best way they feel they know how. Mm -hmm. that's really all it is bro yeah you can't we can't judge people for it some people are better at it than than other people but that's yeah. with everything <laughs> very true real shit that's true i want to start traveling man facts thinking about it man i want to start traveling the world you know the world's getting into a nasty place man yeah i want to see certain what... places before that yeah. shit gets hit by a tsunami or something or like people, God forbid. people just have a riot over there and yeah they, and they start breaking shit over there because they're breaking shit over here. There's some nah. shit that people can't see over here no more because it's fucked up now. It already happened, bro. There was a, there was uh, a couple of countries that rioted with the U.S. when, when this shit happened. Yeah. Like, France. There was a couple countries that, you know. Yeah, yeah. It happens all the time. They rioted. But I don't know, man. Like, traveling is one of those things where it could be a gift and a curse, bro. Like, yeah. you know, you got to know where you're going. Yeah, facts. And who you're going to be around. Because yeah. you're just going on vacation, but some people might not care. You go to Nicaragua, you get Yeah, lost. you go to certain countries, bro, where they feel like you have money. 
You liable to get kidnapped. Fuck your money. Give me your organs. Nah, facts. Like you, <laughs> <laughs> give me a loan. <laughs> you're liable to get kidnapped, bro. Yeah. Like there's there's TV shows with stories like that. Right? Yeah, Niggas Brazil. go overseas. They go on vacation, get kidnapped by a guerrilla group, and now they're in the middle of the woods in a cage. Yeah. Their family's told that if they don't fucking produce like a hundred thousand, they're gonna get killed. It's like and holy the, fuck. Yeah. I just came yeah. to go to the beach. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like for real. Like, yeah. Just don't go to a place flashy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because people will see that real quick. Nah, you just, you you gotta know you gotta do your research, and usually when you go somewhere, you gotta go with people that are from there. Yeah. Like it doesn't matter where you go. Like. Yeah, it makes sense. Usually, usually, especially if it's a dangerous place. Like if you go with people that are from there and, and are known. Yeah. There, you'll probably you're, you're most likely gonna be alright. You'll be straight. Right. But. I don't know, man. It's it's all a risk. Life yeah. is a risk. People get scared of doing all types of shit, man. You can't you can't live your life scared. That's true. So yeah, guys, we're gonna end it there. Don't live your life scared. We appreciate everybody that's been rocking with us, liking, sharing, subscribing, hitting that notification bell. Don't forget, at a thousand subscribers, we're gonna be doing a giveaway. So let us know what you guys want to see us give away. And yeah, man, yeah, much facts. appreciated. We love you guys. Yep. Peace. Peace.